whether you're brand new to web development or you're a seasoned vet who's just looking at what the next thing they should learn is, what is the next language that you should learn next? That's what we're going to be looking at in this video. Hi there and welcome. My name is Kevin. If you're new here, here at my channel, we're usually making videos about how to make the web and how to make it look good while we're at it. This video is a little bit differently though. We're not going to be coding things up. We're going to be having a bit of a discussion. So um, I get this asked a lot. They come up to me and they go, what should I learn next? What is, I've learned this and this. What is the next language I should learn? And I wish I could answer it with something else than it depends. The thing is that I can't. <laughs> um, because for everybody it's different, literally everybody. And I think part of the problem is what should I learn next? It's actually the wrong question. That's not the question you should be asking. So on Twitter, I would asked about uh, the best piece of advice anybody's gotten as a developer that really helped them. And one of the answers that came back was talking about how it's about not choosing what language you wanna learn next, but choosing what project or what job you want. And that that is what leads you to the the choice that you want, and that's exactly right. You need to know either what project you're working on next or what job you want. Uh, a lot of people, what language do you want to learn next? It's because you want to get a job. You know, I could just say React. React is really hot. It's the trendy du jour right now. So maybe that would be the right answer, but it, not necessarily. It depends what you want to be doing. So talking about React, I'll put myself uh, and where I am now, just because it's easy for me to frame it this way. But you know, I learned HTML. I learned CSS. I wanted to get better and up my game. So I just decided to learn, I could do jQuery, but I wanted to really understand JavaScript. So I decided to learn that because I, you know, I wanted to give myself a solid foundation and then I wasn't exactly sure what to do next, but I had a few side projects that I had ideas for that involved state. So I knew I needed, you know, the whole React, Angular, Vue, choose one of those. Um, I ended up going with React, sort of getting my feet wet with it and then diving deeper into it. And so my side projects, it works perfectly. Um, well, it will once I've learned React. <laughs> I'm in the process of. As I learn it and as I'm exploring more, another thing that came up now is my own website where I post articles. If you don't already uh, know about it, I post articles like I do in this videos. I, I cover front end stuff, tutorials, tips, tricks, all of that over on my site. So you can check that out. There's a link to it in the description below. Um, and But the problem is I, they used to be really short, really simple, really short articles where I wasn't doing a whole lot. And now I'm writing some longer ones. I'm still trying to stick. My core is short, quick articles you can read very quickly. But I just put up a big article. Um, I'm going to be putting up more longer articles. There's images involved. And right now it's built with Jekyll, which is a static site generator. And I decided to learn Jekyll back in the day, mostly because I wanted to have some sort of articles and blog system. And so I said, okay, well, I'm going to learn a static site generator. I knew a couple of people use Jekyll. It looked cool, did the job. So I'm happy with it. Um, but now I want to have a CMS and I know I use Netlify to host and so I know Netlify has a CMS for static sites which is super cool which I was going to integrate in with my current build but now that I'm learning React there's Gatsby. Gatsby uh, can integrate well with the there's a whole I have, I've just sort of glanced and read a little bit of documentation on it but I want to get better at just React first but basically I can use Gatsby which is built on React um, as to then integrate with the Netlify CMS and I can run my site with that. And I think that'd be a fun project for me to do. So by going down that rabbit hole, this is my end goal. I can sort of walk backwards and that's a smarter thing to do. Um, I knew I wanted a CMS. I knew that I knew what my requirements are for my CMS. And so Netlify worked. Then looking at Netlify, I go, oh, I can integrate. And it's not just Gatsby. They have a whole bunch of other things you can do. So I go, I looked at the list. I go, oh, look, there's Gatsby there. Gatsby happens to be on React. I'm looking at learning React there. I all of a sudden have a funnel on how I want to learn and the direction that I want to learn. So that's really cool. And I have a plan now and an end goal. And the end goal is what drives you and what actually gets you to learn it. Because if you just sort of go in, I want to learn this and you don't really have an end goal or a project to put it into, you're not going to learn it properly. You might glance through it. You might do a few courses on it, follow a few tutorials, and then you forget about it. You need to have an end goal, something you're going to build using it. So this comes back to getting a job too. You want to get a job. That's why you're learning all this. It's a cool field. You like it, you enjoy it, but you, you want employment and you want to get paid for your services. So don't ask other people, what should I learn next? Go, what should I learn if I want this job? This is the job I want. 
But by this, I'm, I want you to be specific. Go and find like five companies that you respect that do cool products or cool sites or cool services, whatever it is. I want to work at this company or these, this is my dream companies that I want to work at. Go see what technologies do they build their sites on? You might be surprised. Maybe you're going to run into one that's using Ruby on Rails. You thought everybody's you off, you know, you, you keep hearing React and Vue and all these other things. Oh, they're doing Ruby on Rails. Ruby might not be the language du jour, but there's people still using it. And maybe the company you really want to work for has it and it definitely still has its niche. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not advocating for Ruby right now, but I'm just saying that maybe Ruby on Rails is the language you want to learn right now to get done what you need to do. So look at the tech stacks, the, the places you want to be hired. And I'm not saying they're going to hire you because you got the skills needed. You might not get that perfect, exact dream job the year after, but you're getting the right tools to be able to get that job. One thing is definitely have conversations with people. Don't just ask, what's the next language I should learn? Or where do I go from here? You need to give context to your situation. This is what I'm already doing. This is where I'm going. Or even... Ask them what skill, you know, you know, somebody who's working in industry, ask them what skills or what languages are important at their job. Don't say I'm learning web development and I want to know what to learn next. Go, oh, that's really cool. I'm learning that. I'm just curious about you and I'm curious about what you do. What languages are you using? What type of projects are you running and all stuff like that? Put it on them, make them interested. They're going to talk about it. They're going to let you know the good things, the bad things. And you're going to go, okay, that sounds really cool. That's what I want to be doing. Oh, those are the languages that he seems to really put a lot of importance on. You didn't, you're not asking in that situation, you're not being greedy. You're not like, tell me, tell me, tell me. You're, you're getting them to go into like story mode and then they're going to be a lot more open. You're going to get a lot more information. They might even give you like, oh, this is how I went about learning it. You know, by putting them as the storyteller instead of just trying to grab information from them. Um, I think you're going to get a lot more out of it in the long run. Try to frame things in a like, how are you doing type of way instead of this is what I need type of way. And you might get a bit better of a response that way too. Even just contact companies. I w I'd love to work for you. I don't have, I'm a, a student and I'm working on my skill set. What, you know, what, what are the requirements, your minimum junior level? And then, you know, look on their website first to see if they have a hiring page. But if you can't find too much on it or you're really not sure, they might answer you. I'm not saying they will and don't bombard like, don't keep getting back to them and annoying them, but just send out a few feelers, see if you get any replies from that. You might be surprised and you might get some really good advice. And uh, I think that's it. So uh, yeah, thank you once again so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you want, but come over onto the community and ask people there. There's some newbies over there, but there's also some seasoned vets. If you do want to have a conversation like this, that'd be a great place uh, to be able to have it because there's a whole bunch of us over there just hanging out and chilling. So uh, don't be shy and come over there. There's a link to the community in the description below. It's a Discord channel. It's a lot of fun. So come and join us. A big thank you to my patrons for helping support everything I do here. If you don't know about Patreon, it's a service where you can support creators who bring you lots of value. We're getting really close to my next goal. So uh, where I'm going to start putting closed captioning on my videos. And I'm really looking forward to that. So uh, if you want to check out that or get more information, there's also a link to that in the description below. And a massive thank you to Lauren, who's my supporter of Awesome. I really, really appreciate the generous support. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, don't forget to make your corner on the internet just a little bit more awesome.